will check the patency of the King Airway balloon by instilling 60 cc's of saline, or of actually of air. She confirms that this is functional. Then, the King Airway 2, after removal of the air, will be gently placed inside the patient's mouth into the esophagus. This can be done under direct visualization or simply blindly. The King Airway is inflated with 60 cc's of syringe, uh, cc's of air. No air leak is confirmed. Breath sounds, CO2 exchange is also confirmed, and the patient can be ventilated. Once the patient is in a stable situation, the King Airway should be transitioned to an endotracheal tube, and using a regular bougie, after deflation of the, after deflation of the tube, Simultaneously, aggressive suctioning should be occurring to prevent aspiration. Suction the mouth, suction the mouth. <laughs> the bougie tube is then instilled directly into the king airway. And as you'll notice here, it then is coming out within the trachea. You will feel firm resistance which can make you think that you are actually not in the trachea, but you are. The bougie needs to be held still, and once the king airway is pulled out, with some difficulty, then you have a bougie tube placed securely inside the trachea. Following this, a normal endotracheal tube can be threaded onto the bougie and with adequate uh, lubrication can be then advanced into the trachea. There we go. Okay. Oh, actually, okay. Ugh. And, uh, and I'll just bring the comment right there. Okay. Oh, actually, I, I wonder if I can keep going. Actually, 